Amy and Tim from Go With Less. We talked yesterday about part one of our money life together. And that was really our dating time up until we first got married and really how we came into our relationship. So today we're gonna talk about the next chapter. The next chapter is when we spent $115,000 on our life for over about five years each year. And that $115,000, when we talk about that, that doesn't include mortgage principal, it doesn't include taxes, it doesn't include savings. So when we talk about $115,000, we're talking about true spending it's just money flushed down the toilet money well m money that we spent and so like I said that wasn't half of that wasn't going to our savings so what we want to talk about is where we were in our part two because as Tim likes to say you don't know where you're going if you don't know where you've been so let's talk a little bit about that yeah. buying so a new house when Amy and I first met so the, the children and I our, my three children and myself were living in a two-bedroom townhome as I mentioned yesterday and so Amy and I started searching for a house. We found a place that we thought we were gonna be happy with. It was a place where we thought we could be for the rest of our lives. It was a nice big house. Um, so this house was almost 6,000 square feet. And so- uh, Little, just a little just place. Just a little place. And so when we, um, the second day we were actually in the house, the children had gone home to their moms and Amy and I were sitting on the couch and we're having this conversation. We're like, what in the world have we done? This is, there's so much space where our, our voices are echoing in the room that we're in. And so uh, we did, uh, so it was the right thing at the time for us to do, to move into this big space. And so we're, we're happy that we actually had this experience, but over time we realized we certainly didn't need the amount of space. And it was a challenge to, uh, to take care of the space, to maintain it. And uh, every time we used to talk about projects we would have in the home. So anytime somebody would walk into the house and want to do some work on the house, it was going to cost $10,000. $20,000. 20, to, to, to do anything. Anything. Was so, tw we started at 20000 So They started at 20000 And what, also, what we also realized when we built a new house uh, is that it didn't include a yard. It didn't include a fence. It didn't include a refrigerator or washer or dryer. It didn't include blinds. So our ceilings were 16 to 20 feet high in this giant house and we I mean it was it was huge custom blinds and these gigantic windows some of them needed motors and remote controls to make them work because they were so tall so completely crazy so uh, and we do we are we're happy that we had that experience though because there's a lot of people including us who wanted to live in like a big fabulous house and and strive and aim and, and have that as a goal and it fit into our spending and it was our goal as well what we realized unfortunately on the second day is that it probably wasn't our dream but for the years that we lived in that home we, we had a great time it was a great house for entertaining and had a lot of great events and raised a family there but what we realized is that we had that experience we don't need it again we got rid of the house fortunately to be able to get into part three which is where we are in heading into this direction of early retirement uh, but we did need to get rid of that house so we'll talk about that in another video but on this one we just wanted to talk about where we came from so when my, my car was rear-ended and it was totaled I needed to get a new car so we bought a car in cash uh, we didn't it was put used any, yeah a used car in cash but it was an Acura it was a nice little SUV so it was a more premium kind of a car uh, we took a vacation with so yeah. our older son hates to travel we don't know where he came from he hates <laughs> traveling he wants to be left home so we left him back at home and four of us went on to a Caribbean cruise for yep. spring break and that was probably and we thought we were there were two rooms for four of us we were getting like the inside cabin with no window down below so the cheapest room you could get in the boat and eat, it was still probably over six thousand dollars yep. by the time we got down there had the the cruise uh, we had a night in a hotel all the excursions that we did so that was still probably coming in close to about uh, maybe maybe even more than six thousand dollars but that wasn't even something that we thought about so because our spending was fitting into our life so because we were having more than 115,000 come in we saw our money going into savings so we we thought we were okay and and like I said we we probably were okay yep. and a lot of people looking at us but we didn't have any debt so we paid for our car in cash we we had a just a mortgage on our home but uh, we also lived in a keeping up with the Joneses neighborhood we did we did our best as a matter of fact we moved into the neighborhood we knew that this was going to be a factor and so Neither of us are designed to necessarily keep up with the Joneses. But we but didn't know that. When you then. see the neighbors but also uh, we didn't know that. driving up in their uh, luxury cars and decorating their houses amazingly and things like this, there is some just peer pressure to sort of keep up with your neighbors. Uh, and so 
that was something that, that we knew going in would be something that we'd be faced with. And so we did a good job. I, again, we, we thought all the while yeah. we were the frugal people in the neighborhood. And so, we probably uh, were. the. It's possible that we were the frugal people in the neighborhood, even right. at $115,000. So we just kind of, we're, we're establishing where we were. Tim says, if you don't know where you've been, you don't know where you're going. I like that. So we're kind of painting a picture. Where in your life might you be living a little large so do you have you lived in do you have a dream of living in a big house what have you found if you got there um like i said i think we needed to have that experience to know that it wasn't for us so that was a big expensive mistake that we made but we've done it we, right. like i said we got it out of our system and we made it through on the other side happy and ready to share the better part of our story in the next couple days of video thanks That's for right. watching thanks for joining us subscribe down below and Just you can follow do. us at www.gowithless.com. Thanks Take so care. much. Thanks.